Halo, kembali lagi di UTBK Indonesia. Kali ini kita akan membahas tentang soal TKA Bahasa Inggris untuk SMA atau SMK tahun 2025-2026. Sebelum membahas soal-soal TKA Bahasa Inggris, kita akan bahas tentang kisi-kisi tes kemampuan akademik Bahasa Inggris. Baik, sebelum kita masuk ke pembahasan soal TKA Bahasa Inggris, kita akan membahas tentang kisi-kisi soal TKA Bahasa Inggris. Yang pertama, menguasai kosakata menengah hingga lanjutan, termasuk idiom, collocation, phrasal verbs, serta pemahaman makna kata sesuai konteks kalimat. Yang kedua, menguji penguasaan tata bahasa kompleks seperti tenses lanjutan, yakni perfect, continuous, perfect, continuous, conditional sentences, passive voice, reported speech, clause, atau non, adjective, dan adverbial. Yang ketiga, kemampuan mengenali kesalahan dalam kalimat atau error recognition, memperbaiki tata bahasa, serta menyusun kalimat efektif dengan struktur formal. Yang keempat, memahami percakapan akademik atau monolog singkat. Misalnya, pengumuman, diskusi kelas, wawancara. Kemudian, menjawab pertanyaan terkait ide pokok, detail, dan inferensi. Yang kelima, mengukur keterampilan komunikatif untuk situasi formal dan akademik. Seperti memberikan pendapat, presentasi singkat, serta berdiskusi dengan bahasa yang tepat. Sekarang kita masuk ke soal TKA Bahasa Inggris, soal nomor 1. In the past two decades, scientists have conducted extensive research on climate agreements, noting that while international treaties like the Paris Agreement represent progress, many nations still prioritize short-term economic gains over long-term sustainability. Reports indicate that some countries reduce emissions temporarily, only to increase them when economic pressures rise. Environmental groups emphasize the importance of accountability and independent monitoring systems. Meanwhile, businesses claim that innovation in renewable energy is constrained by limited fu- funding and political instability. The passage underscores a complex balance between ambition, responsibility, and reality. What is the central argument of the text? Pilihan jawaban A. International treaties alone cannot guarantee sustainability without accountability B. Climate change can be solved entirely by technological innovation C. Businesses play no role in the sustainability debate D. Countries always follow the Paris Agreement without deviation A. Renewable energy has no connection to global politics Jawaban yang benar adalah A. International theatres alone cannot guarantee sustainability without accountability. Pembahasan The passage highlights that theatres are progress but not, su- but not sufficient. True sustainability requires accountability and monitoring. Soal 2 In a detailed analysis of Shakespearean tragedies, critics often highlight that Protagonists such as Macbeth or Hamlet are not merely victims of fate, but also active participants in their downfall. Their ambitions, doubts, and moral weakness contribute significantly to the outcomes of the plays. Moreover, audience are left questioning the extent of which this destiny shapes human decision. The place also over political and philosophical critiques relevant even in modern times. Thus, rit- literature becomes a lens through which timeless human struggles are explored. What is the most accurate inference from the passage? Pilihan jawaban A. Shakespeare po- portrays characters who combine fate and personal flaws in shaping outcomes. B. The play show that Characters are only victims of fate with no agency. C. Shakespearean tragedies suggest both destiny and personal weakness determine human downfall. D. Modern audiences cannot relate to Shakespearean's work anymore. A. Shakespearean's works are limited to historical politics only. 
Jawaban yang benar adalah C. Sex, parent, tragedy, suggest both destiny and personal weakness determine human downfall. Dengan pembahasan, the text emphasizes that destiny and human flows together determine outcomes, making option C the best inference. Soal tiga, a longitudinal study on bilingual children demonstrated that early exposure to two languages not only enhances problem-solving abilities, but also promotes empathy and intercultural awareness. Researchers found that bilingual children could switch perspective more easily in conflict situations and showed better adaptively in dynamic environments. Yet, some participants displayed slower vocabulary acquisition in each language. Raising debates about potential trade offs, the study concludes that while challenges exist, long term benefits outweigh temporary drawbacks. Based on the text, what is the best conclusion? A. Bilingual children always struggle with vocabulary acquisition. B. Bilingualism mainly harms academic performance. C. The long term benefits of bilingualism surpass its temporary challenges. D. Intercultural awareness is unrelated to bilingual ability. E. Only monolingual children adapt well socially. Jawaban yang benar adalah C. The long-term benefits of bilingualism surprise its temporary challenges. Pembahasan, the conclusion of the study is that also of challenges exits. The overall cognitive and social advantage of bilingualism outweigh them. Soal 4. In an economics lecture, the, the professor explained that globalization has created unprecedented opportunities for trade, knowledge exchange, and cultural integration. However, it has also widened the gap between rich and poor nations. Raising concerns about exploitation and dependency, while multinational corporations expand rapidly, small local business sometimes collapse under competitive pressure. Policy markers are those faced with the challenge of balancing growth with equity. The lecturer concludes that globalization is a double-edged sword demanding careful regulation. What is the main point of the lecture? A. Globalization always benefits every country equally. B. Globalization is only harmful to small businesses. C. Globalization should be completely avoided in modern society. D. Globalization brings both opportunities and inequalities that require regulation. E. Multinational corporations are the sole drivers of globalization. Jawaban yang tepat adalah D. Globalization brings both opportunities and inequalities that require regulation. Pembahasan, the passage says globalization has put positive and negative impacts. Therefore, regulation is necessary to balance them. Soal kelima, recent sociological study investigated how digital technology influences family interactions. Researchers observed that while smartphones and online platforms connect family members across distances, they sometimes reduce the quality of face-to-face -face communication. Parents reported difficulty in limiting children's screen time, while children argued that digital tools support their learning. The study emphasized that technology itself is natural. The outcome depends on how it is used within the household. It concludes that families must establish norms that balance connectivity with genuine interaction. According to the study, what is the most accurate conclusion? A. Digital technology automatically improves family relationships. B. The impact of, the, of digital technology of, on families depends on its use. C. Families should avoid technology completely. D. Only children benefit from using digital tools. E. Smartphones weaken family relationships in every case. Jawaban yang benar adalah B. The impact of, it, of, the digi, of digital technology on families depends on its use. Pembahasan The study concludes that technology is natural. The real outcome is shaped by the way families use it.
Itulah beberapa soal yang akan muncul pada tes TKA Bahasa Inggris untuk tingkat SMA atau SMK. Jika kamu ingin berlatih ratusan soal menggunakan simulasi berbasis CPT standar nasional, kamu bisa mengunjungi website www.utbk.or.id. Kamu bisa mengerjakan ratusan soal lengkap dengan pembahasannya. Dapat dikerjakan kapanpun dan dimanapun. Terima kasih.